Hi guys, Russ here from Wilson Land and Cattle Company. Today we're taking the cows back to the heavy use area to pregnancy check and also wean the calves. And we're going to teach you how to draw blood out of the tail of the cows. That way you can pregnancy test your own animals and not have to rely on a veterinarian or somebody that knows how to palpate a cow to figure out if they're pregnant or not. Okay, the cows were moved into this field here yesterday and we're gonna move them from here clear over, I don't know if you can see the roof on the building clear back in there or not. They're, they're gonna go out, go up an alleyway and then across the field and down an animal trails and walkways. So let's go ahead and get that, get going here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with a friend that way everybody knows the channels here okay let's get her going here yep girls i know walker up there blocking we make this into a family thing mama and emmy they'll be helping as well as well as walker we're just getting them moved back here we got a dumb calf over there we got to get him going it's a girl come on get with your buddies come on get with your buddies go 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 You can see here where they hung out last night. This is not mud, this is all manure. There goes Scout. He'll take them off. It's one thing nice about having a, a good dog. A good dog, you really don't have to give them any commands or anything. calf here was eating rushes. They absolutely love rush plants after it freezes. We're also going to take the bull out of the herd today. We'll put him in the bachelor pad and we'll bring in a day or two we'll bring pinball up out of the bull pen and put her in with the calves.
Scout, come here, bud. You did a good job today. Yes, you did. You did a good job bringing them cows back. He's a super good dog. Not only as a as a good friend, he's one heck of a hard worker. Got a few of them in. Okay, we got the cows back. We're gonna put hay into them. We'll just 4K back into them. That gets them to reach through the headlocks to get caught. This will be the first bale of hay we fed this year, and I guess it's pretty much just a treat. Now, with weaning the calves, we'll keep the calves here in a heavy use area for about a week and a half, two weeks, and then we'll kick them back out, and probably, most likely, most likely we will uh, start feeding hay to the calves then and let the rest of the stockpile for the cows and the bread heifers. We've got a bunch of dumb ones that are not used to the headlocks that go through and, and lock them. Might as well take everything that's not caught up up into here and then we'll split the cows off. Hey guys, we've only been at this about 10 minutes now and we got, I don't know, 10 or 15 of the animals done and we still have this string and then there's seven of them in there that we didn't get in the headlocks that we'll bring back in and, and get them afterwards. But I want to show you how to take the blood out of the tail. Right there. Yeah. You can get a little closer. I don't like kicked. I've been kicked before. I know. Okay, whenever you flip the tail up, on one side, there's a vein, or the, the tailbone, there's a vein, and then on the other side, there's an artery. It doesn't matter which one you get. Our goal is, is just to get two cc's of blood. It doesn't matter if it's artery blood or vein blood. If you see that needle there, how it's got the point, you want that point going into the skin. Okay, so we stick it in the tail, if you look, there's kind of like a V on the tail here. You want to be just off, slightly off to the side and just stick it in there quick, okay? And you're going to go probably through the vein or the artery, and then pull suction with your syringe. You pull suction with your syringe, and you just kind of slowly bring your needle out or poke it back in depending on what you need to do you see how dark that blood is that's bl blood that's headed back to the heart to be re-oxygenated Okay, we flip the tail up and again we're looking for the faint V marking in the tail. Stick it in. Pull a vacuum on your syringe. 
fill your syringe up just like that. And again, that's vein blood because it's dark colored. There's not much oxygen in it. Put it in your test tube. You need a red top test tube. Mark it with the animal's identification number. And then we take take them and put them in a in our rack here we have a rack and then we'll take them up to the house wrap them in bubble wrap and then we'll send them send them off to the lab to have them analyzed for pregnancy and what they're doing is testing for a hormone that's in the blood and then that spits back and tells us whether or not they're pregnant or not Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and get this done. Hopefully that helped you out. You know, you can test your own animals. It takes a little bit of practice, but I mean, for the most part, the average person can pull blood samples out. I don't recommend taking the blood out of the neck. The tail is the safest way to draw blood out of your cows. Okay guys, we'll, uh, we'll get this done and hopefully the video helped you out. If it did help, please share the video and get the word out the channels here. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later.